times turning all around times I'm gonna praise the Lord Dark times, bright times, nothing going right times I'm gonna praise the Lord I believe he knows the things I need And he's in control I was made to give him all the praise Cause he is the Lord Up times, down times, turning all around times I'm gonna praise the Lord Dark times, bright times, nothing going right times I'm gonna praise the Lord I believe he knows the things I need And he's in control I was made to give him all the praise Cause he is the Lord Welcome to Ignite Online. This week we're going to start with a story. This is our friend Nick and the story is called Right Hand Man. Lord Jesus, thank you for mum, dad, granddad and my hamster Hammy. And I suppose my brother too. Thank you for everything. Billy Buckle always said a prayer at bedtime. It was usually the same prayer but tonight he said a different last sentence. He didn't really know why, he just did. Please help me be more like you. And that sentence changed everything. The next morning, Billy woke up and stared, just stared. There was an enormous parcel in the middle of his room. He'd never seen such a huge gift. He read the label, Billy. Billy opened the note and read, Dear Mr Billy Buckle, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of one genuine, 100%, already all steady, once in a lifetime, ultra reliable, all powerful, super duper, no hassle, all singing, all dancing, right hand man. Billy thought, what's a right hand man? You're probably thinking, what's a right hand man? Well, let me explain. You have been chosen to have a right hand man to help you in different situations. He's not a slave or a servant, but will always be there when you need him. He can give you gifts when you need them. He'll always have the right things available to you when you want them. Sometimes, like everybody, you make mistakes or don't know what to do, and you need a helping hand. Well, today's your lucky day. You're now the owner of one genuine 100%, all ready, all steady, once in a lifetime, ultra reliable, all powerful, super duper, no hassle, all singing, all dancing, right hand man. Love from Right Hand Man Inc. P.S. Just unwrap the right hand man and he'll be ready to support you. Billy opened the huge box, his heart thumping. Billy stared at the right hand man. Finally, he managed to find his manners. Uh, hello? Hi, said the enormous man back. Plucking up courage, Billy gazed up and said, You're a right hand man, and you help me when I need help. Yup. Just then, Billy's mum shouted up the stairs, Billy, can you get Grandad's paper and bits and bobs for tea? List is on the front door, and the money's on your shelf. Bye, love. She closed the door behind her. Billy skipped downstairs. The right hand man followed closely on his heels. Billy grabbed the list his mum had left and headed off to Mr Green's shop. The right hand man walked beside him. Billy found it strange yet comforting to be with him. No one else seemed to notice the right hand man. Billy paused before reaching the shop. I hate Mr Green in this shop. He's always moaning and grumbling. The right hand man leant down and whispered into Billy's ear. He suggested 
that Billy tried being more friendly and polite. No way, he's a moaner! Billy burst out. The right-hand man asked him to try it and see. Reluctantly, Billy said he'd give it a go. Good morning, Mr Green. How are you today? said Billy, flashing his best smile. Mr Green was so surprised his glasses nearly fell off. His moustache twitched and he smiled and managed to bumble out that he was fine. Billy gave him the list. Mr Green gathered the items on Billy's list, popped them in a carrier bag and said, that'll be £3.65, please. Uh-oh. Billy checked his wallet, tapped his pockets and then panicked. He'd forgotten his money. He went bright red. Mr Green is going to be so angry. Just then, a hand leant forward with exactly £3.65 in it. The right-hand man had saved the day. He had exactly what Billy needed. Billy passed Mr Green the money and said a cheerful goodbye. At the park, Billy grilled the right-hand man. You're here to help me when I need help. Yup. And you support me when I need support. Yup. You got gifts for me when I need them. Yup. You protect me when I need protection. Yup. You don't say much, do you? Nope. Just as Billy asked about being protected, Billy saw Buster McGee coming towards him. He puts creepy crawlies in my lunchbox. He makes rude noises and blames Billy. And he always twists Billy's ear really hard. Here's Buster. Billy glared at the right-hand man. Will you help me? Yup. As Buster walked towards Billy, the right-hand man crept between them. Buster stared at Billy. He stopped. He looked. And then he carried on without doing anything. Billy's eyes grew bigger. Who was this right-hand man? You protected me. You stood between me and him. And it, it was like he didn't see me. You helped me. Yup. At the Roller King. Hi, Asha. What's up? How you doing? Said Billy. Oh, hi, Billy. I'm good, thanks. The right-hand man tapped Billy on the shoulder and whispered in his ear. Billy nodded and spun round in front of Asher. Hey, Asher, are you OK? Billy uttered. I'm fine, said Asher. The right-hand man nudged Billy's arm again, nodded as if Billy was to ask. Billy had begun to trust the right-hand man and ventured in for a third time. Asher, ah! Uh... Just as Billy said her name, Asher pulled off her helmet and burst into tears. It's my, it's my mum, she's, she's in hospital. The right-hand man reached into his bag and pulled out a box of tissues. <laughs> it looks really serious. And then passed him a few tissues and then more tissues, then more tissues. I'm really worried. Then more tissues, then more tissues. Billy didn't know what to do, so he just kept passing tissues. Thanks, Billy. As Asher skated away in a zipping zigzag, Billy looked up at the right-hand man. You knew, Billy whispered with a knowing smile. If I hadn't asked Asher, she would still be sad. Yup, and the tissues were handy too. Yup. Lord Jesus, thank you for mum, dad, granddad and my hamster Hammy. And I suppose my brother too. And thank you for the right hand man. Billy Buckle always said a prayer at bedtime, but for the second night running he said a different last sentence. He didn't really know why, he just did. And that sentence changed everything. Please let me see your power. Amen. It's the right hand man. It's written by me, Nick Jackson, at Power Pack Ministries and illustrated by Baz Sellers. I hope you enjoyed it. That story is to help us understand a little bit more about the Holy Spirit. It can be a bit confusing because the Holy Spirit is God. Just like God the Father and Jesus his Son, they're all God. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but just like the right-hand man was with Billy in that story, wherever he went and helped him in lots of different situations, if we know God, the Holy Spirit can be with us wherever we go and help us in lots of different ways. You healed the sick, you loved the poor You took two fish and made a thousand more And that's why I adore you You're always kind, but sometimes tough But you always know what's best for us 
And that's why I adore you Want to be more like you each day And you will help us find a way I trust in you cause you are good You are good Things you did are what we should
We have got a quiz for you and it's called Name That Tree. So there are going to be different types of tree on the screen and you need to decide from the two choices which kind of tree you think it is. So either you can play just by deciding which one you think is the right answer for each question or you can play this Ignite style and you can run to the side of the room to show which answer you think is right. Just make sure there's nothing you're going to crash into or break in the room before you start. You might have had some good guesses there, but you probably didn't know any of those for sure, unless you have amazing tree knowledge. The reason it was so hard is that there was no fruit on any of the trees, so you couldn't see that it was a lemon tree because there were no lemons on it. In the Bible, it talks about how we know a tree by its fruit. The type of fruit shows what kind of tree it is. But when the Bible talks about fruit and trees like this, it doesn't actually mean real trees and fruit that we eat. It's talking about us and how what we show on the outside, our actions and our words, show who we are on the inside. In the Bible, in Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23, it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. You could pause and look up the verses in a Bible with your family now if you want to. We're going to be looking at these fruits of the Spirit more over the next few weeks. But for this week, see if you can try to learn these verses and remember them. As a different way to help you remember them, I'm going to show you the sign language now for each of the different fruits of the Spirit. If we have God's spirit in us, these fruits are the things that God says we will show on the outside. So we don't always get it right, but God can help us through his Holy Spirit to do these things so that we can love God and love other people. This game is called Fruit Sardines and it's a bit like hide and seek. Everybody starts with a different piece of fruit. One person needs to be on and they need to hide their fruit somewhere in the house or you could play outside. Then everybody else tries to find it and when they do they add their piece of fruit to the same hiding place. The aim is not to be the last one to find the fruit. Here's our demonstration.
might have expected, Pete made it very tricky for us and we needed a clue in the end to help us find where it was. So I hope you managed better than we did. That's it for today, but I'm going to leave you with some craft ideas on screen just for things that you could do to help you remember about those fruits of the spirit. See you next week. <laughs>